Hi Big Tractor Power fans, in this video I would like to share with you 13 prairie monster sized tractors at work in the field. What is a prairie monster? It's a way to describe the largest tractors on the market from the 1960s through today. These prairie monster sized tractors were the inspiration for Big Tractor Power YouTube. The channel was launched on August 11th, 2010. Back then I simply wanted to share some of my favorite big tractors at work with friends and I had no idea that there were so many other tractor fans around the world. The channel has grown to nearly 450,000 subscribers. It has had 273 million lifetime views and has racked up a total of 2,435 video releases with this posting. I would like to take you out in the field now and share with you my favorite moments with these tractors that were built to work the broad acres over the past 13 years, including tractors from Case IH, John Deere, Agco, Massey Ferguson, Rome, Wright, Ford Versatile, Big Bud, and Steiger. Here is a pair of Steiger Tiger Series 3 ST450 articulated four-wheel drive tractors working in southern Illinois with 50-foot wide Sunflower 1550 tandem discs. The ST450, powered by a KTA 1150 Cummins engine, was the largest tractor you could purchase from Steiger in 1977 and it was manufactured through 1982. I'm a fan of all tractors from the Ford 8N all the way up to the Big Bud 16V 747, but if I had to pick a favorite tractor brand of all time, it would be Steiger. The largest tractor produced by John Deere from 1982 through 1988 was the 370 engine horsepower Model 8850, powered by a John Deere 955 cubic inch V8 engine. The V8 engine that powered the 8850 ran into reliability issues after a few thousand hours of operation. In September of 1995, Kinsey, well known for manufacturing corn planters and grain carts, rolled out a repowering program for John Deere Soundguard four-wheel drive tractors manufactured from 1975 through 1988. Kinsey began its repower program in 1967 and built a solid reputation in the industry for adding additional power and reliability to tractors. The V8 powered 8850 was converted by Kinsey with a Cummins Big Cam 3 855 cubic inch six cylinder engine. The engine conversion was accomplished with a short drive line coupling the Ford mounted engine to the tractor's drivetrain. Kinsey also added a larger chrome exhaust and breather to the 8850. Here we can see a 450 horsepower John Deere 8850 Kinsey Repower working with a 26 foot wide John Deere 2400 chisel plow in Western Illinois. The Massey Ferguson 5200 tractor was manufactured by McConnell Mark from 1989 through 1991. This outsourced tractor provided Massey Ferguson dealers with an articulated four-wheel drive tractor option for their customers. The 5200 is powered by an 855 cubic inch Cummins engine rated at 390 engine horsepower. In 13 years of sharing tractor videos on YouTube, this Massey Ferguson 5200 was tackling the toughest planting conditions I have ever encountered. The Massey is operating a 30 foot wide Great Plains Solid Stand 30 no-till grain drill seeding soybeans in western Kentucky.
The largest tractor ever offered by Ford was the Versatile 1156. Ford acquired Versatile tractors in 1987. The 470 engine horsepower tractor is powered by a KTA 1150 Cummins engine. The first KTA 1150 powered tractor from Versatile was introduced for model year 1981 as the model 1150. In model year 1985, the tractor was upgraded to the 1156, and for model year 1990 through 1991, the tractor's colors changed from red, black, and yellow to Ford, blue, and white. The Ford version of the 1156 is by far the rarest of the tractor's 10-year production run. This model 1156 is working on fall tillage in central Illinois with a 9-shank Case IH 875 Ecolo Tiger disc ripper. In the fall of 2007, Case IH celebrated 50 years of Steiger articulated four-wheel drive tractors and 20 years of Magnum fixed frame tractors by producing gold signature edition models of the Steiger 535 and the Magnum 305. Case IH produced 50 535 horsepower Steigers and 100 305 horsepower Magnums in the Gold Signature Edition paint scheme. These tractors were awarded to the top selling Steiger and Magnum dealers in the Case IH sales network. These tractors were delivered with a special note imprinted in the door of the tractor from the head of Case IH North America. Because of the rarity of these Case IH Signature Edition tractors, it was exciting to catch the 305 Magnum and 535 Steiger working side by side on the Ohio River Flats on spring planting in southern Indiana. The Rome 475C was one of the largest articulated four-wheel drive tractors offered in the late 1970s and early 1980s. It's powered by an 1100 cubic inch Caterpillar 3408 V8 engine rated at 475 engine horsepower. It was manufactured from 1978 through 1986. The tractor working in this video is operating a 45 foot wide John Deere 637 disc in Southern Illinois. The third largest tractor in the world is the Wright 750 Earthquake. Manufactured in 1982 by Curtis Wright, three of these tractors were produced. It's nicknamed the Earthquake because it literally shakes the earth as it passes you in the field. It's powered by a 1,104 cubic inch Detroit diesel B12 engine. The tractor is 18 feet wide and weighs in at 69,000. 500 pounds. Here we can see it plowing in Northwest Ohio. engine horsepower rigid frame four-way steer model 4994 was the largest tractor ever produced by J.I. Case. It's powered by an 866 cubic inch Saab Scania V8 engine. This machine was manufactured from 1984 through 1988. Model year 1984 4994s were sold under the Case brand name and painted white and black. 
In November of 1984, Tenneco, the parent company of J.I. Case, acquired International Harvester's Agricultural Division, and starting in 1985, the 4994 was sold under the Case International brand name and painted red and black. There were a total of 224 model 4994s produced. I was particularly excited to find this 4994 chisel plowing in southeastern Pennsylvania. It was originally sold by Monroe Tractor to a dairy farm in western New York State. This was the first case age tractor I ever saw in the spring of 1985. This tractor was delivered from the factory in Racine, Wisconsin, painted red and black, but still had the orange case decal. It was produced so early after the merger of Case IH, the new silver Case International decals had not been produced yet. This tractor was traded in the early 2000s for a new Case IH STX 375 quad track, and the dairy farm that acquired it in Pennsylvania decided to completely restore the tractor and painted it in the traditional Case white and black. The Echo Star 8360 articulated four-wheel drive tractor was new for model year 1995 and manufactured through 2001. It was developed from the acquisition of McConnell Mark tractors by Agco in 1994. This tractor was traditionally painted argent silver and sold through Agco White, Agco Alice, and Massey Ferguson dealers. The tractor's decal reflects the three brands with pinstriping in orange, red, and silver. The Model 8360 working in this video is powered by a Cummins N14 855 cubic inch engine rated at 360 horsepower. The 8360 could be ordered with an optional Detroit diesel engine from the factory and loyal Massey Ferguson customers could order it in Massey Ferguson Red. The tractor working in this video is located in southeastern Illinois on a very loyal Alice Chalmers Agco Alice farm and was custom painted Agco Orange. The Big Bud 65050, part of the company's Series 3 lineup, was manufactured from 1980 through 1981, with a total of eight units being produced. This machine claimed the title as the fourth largest tractor in the world for many years. It weighs in at 60,000 pounds. It's powered by a 1,104 cubic inch Detroit diesel V12 engine. The model number on the tractor, 650, indicates its horsepower and 50 represents the 9-speed power shift transmission. This machine is plowing in Northwest Ohio with a 21 bottom DMI 900 series moldboard plow, cutting a swath of 40 feet per pass. The 225 engine horsepower John Deere WA14 articulated four-wheel drive tractor is among the rarest of machines produced in the company's 100 plus years of tractor production. This tractor saw only 23 units produced through an agreement with Wagner Tractors. It is powered by an 855 cubic inch Cummins engine and was manufactured from 1969 through 1970 and was ultimately replaced by John Deere's own articulated four-wheel drive, the Model 7020, introduced for model year 1971. The John Deere WA-14 is so rare, I never thought I'd have an opportunity to see one working out in the field. That changed when the Renner Stock Farm, located in southern Illinois, took their WA-14 out to the field with a tandem John Deere 3100 12-bottom moldboard plow.
1100 horsepower Nexat is the Prairie Monster tractor of the future. This big machine does not even have a steering wheel. It uses a joystick to steer the tractor and completely relies on automated GPS steering while it's working in the field. It felt like farming in Star Trek watching this machine equipped with an 18 row, 30 inch, 45 foot wide Vodderstad planter planting soybeans in Northwest Iowa. We have complete auto steer then, and again, we can come as and see as we approach the headland, there's the on-planet space, and the tires are tracking on the outside of the 45-foot, 18-row, 30-inch planter, and we're gonna come up here to the headland, and the implement will pick up. And then it's completely hands-free auto steer on the turns. What kind of um, GPS operating system are you using today? Uh, Trimble. We have a Trimble GPS system inside. Yep. And here we are taking off again. Up it up to that five miles per hour and starting the next pass. The ultimate Prairie Monster tractor is the world's largest tractor, the 1100 horsepower Big Bud 16V747. Manufactured in 1978, this machine is powered by a 1,472 cubic inch Detroit diesel V16 engine. It weighs in at 130,000 pounds and is 25 feet wide. The tractor is operating an 80-foot wide Frigstead D780 chisel plow. This tillage team can turn over an acre of ground per minute. Only one 16V747 was ever built. It was initially rated at 760 engine horsepower, and over the years it was cranked up to 900 horsepower, then 1100 horsepower. The company manufactured just over 500 tractors, ranging from 250 to 1100 horsepower from 1969 through 1991, and the brand just announced a new 700 horsepower model in 2023. Having the chance to see the 16V747 tractor working in a 3,000 acre field in Montana was exciting. The experience was all the better because running right next to this monster was a 1987 Series 4 Big Bud 440 operating an 86 foot wide Morris air drill.
It has been a lot of fun tracking down these Prairie Monster tractors over the past 13 years, and I hope that you've enjoyed watching them. The hunt continues. Someday, I hope to see the versatile eight-wheel drive Big Roy 1080 tractor working in the field. I'd also like to find a Baldwin, an ACO, an Acre Master, a Cameco, and many other big tractors. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video what your favorite tractor was in the presentation. And if you've enjoyed it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional content featuring big tractors, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching. 